what will you do to try to stop this? What will you do for the next three months? Well, first of all, I think there's still time to reach a, a good deal, a better deal. Uh, and I think what is required is to uh, hold firm, to increase the, the pressures until a better deal is achieved. One that significantly rolls back Iran's nuclear infrastructure and one that doesn't lift the restrictions on Iran, on Iran's nuclear program, until they stop their aggression in the region. Well, that hasn't they, really been decided uh, yet, has it? The, the, US says, the U.S. says it will be phased in. That hasn't even really been decided. Well, it's not even been on the table, nor have ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, that they can use to uh, uh, propel their nuclear weapons to uh, any part of the world, including the United States. Uh, nothing has been asked of Iran to change its aggressive and terrorist policies. Nothing. And I think it's important to change the deal, to toughen up the deal, to get a better deal, because we all but prefer But how can you do that? How solution, can you get a deal right that one. Iran would accept? The U.S. and others have been dealing for years, and, and you've got other players involved in this now. How can you get a deal that they would accept? Martha, I think that what they don't accept today, they can accept tomorrow. If I told you two years ago that Syria's uh, Bashar Assad would accept a deal that takes out all the chemicals from Syria, that takes out all the chemical weapons from Syria, just takes it out, uh, not leave inspectors or beefed up inspectors to... Uh, to inspect what is there, but actually take out the whole stuff, you would have said, that's unrealistic. And so, you know what? So would you Two years consider, ago, it was unrealistic. Prime Minister, would you but consider... But here's what happened, Martha. Would you consider unilateral airstrikes? Well, first let me say that we prefer a peaceful solution. How did you get a peaceful solution in Syria? You ratcheted up the pressures, and when Syria saw that, that those pressures were raining down on them, they agreed but, but to what was not agreed before. But part of that pressure was the pressure of airstrikes. So would you threaten unilateral airstrikes to Iran? I, I never talk about uh, our military option or anyone else's. The United States says that it has a military option on the table. But equally, uh, and I think uh, no less effective, have been the crippling sanctions that have only been applied uh, since 2012. Crippling financial and economic sanctions, especially on the oil sector. And with the drop in uh, oil, those sanctions have become even more effective. That's what got Iran to the table in the first place. Uh, and then once they're at the table, why let up on those sanctions? In fact, that's the time to increase the pressure and to get tomorrow what you can't get today. Okay, thank you very much, Prime Minister.